A quick note before this video properly begins, as many regular viewers will already no doubt know, my channel has been demonetized by YouTube, and so this channel is now financially reliant upon you the viewers. For those who would wish to help out and do their bit to help combat YouTube's attempts to silence and censor me, I am now both on Patreon and Subscribestar, and am asking for donations of $1 per month. But every little bit helps, and $1 per month is basically a soda pop per month to help combat YouTube's attempts to silence me. I am also, by the way, on alt tech platforms such as Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble, so you may want to subscribe to me there if you haven't already. For those curious, links will be left in the description below to all of this as well as in a pinned comment. Thank you again for your time, thanks to those who have already donated, and with that said, let's get to the video itself. <laughs> Hello everyone, Ace here, and today let's talk about the recent cancellation of Blaine Pardo, a longtime writer of the Battletech universe who was recently thrown under the bus by Catalyst Game Labs. I should also mention, by the way, that I have evidence showing who exactly is responsible for the latest smears that led to Mr. Pardo's cancellation. And don't worry, I will be providing that evidence here later on. But for now, it's important to note that once again, Blaine Pardo has been a longtime writer of the Battletech universe who just so happens to have conservative views, which has resulted in some activists trying to cancel him since January of 2021, the individual responsible for the smear campaign being a stalker who had, in fact, threatened Mr. Pardo's life. However, it should be noted that this was not the same individual who created the straw that broke the camel's back. That final straw being a compilation of comments that not only were taken out of context, but even then were being interpreted in a very uncharitable and dishonest manner. To show you what I'm talking about, here is the compilation in question. And as one example, Mr. Pardo is accused of, quote, Confederate idolization. The evidence supposedly proving this being that he was complaining about far leftists tearing down statues of Ulysses S. Grant and Teddy Roosevelt. You know, the famous Confederate leaders known as Ulysses S. Grant and Teddy Roosevelt. And the far leftists want you to believe that they're the ones that want to accurately portray history. Another piece of supposed evidence that they show is Mr. Pardo providing a quote from Dwight D. Eisenhower on General Robert E. Lee, where Eisenhower is discussing the at the time questionable constitutional nature of whether or not states would be illegally allowed to leave the Union, which hadn't been answered until the end of the war in 1865. It's worth noting, by the way, that neither Eisenhower nor Pardo are saying that the South tried to leave for good reason. In fact, Eisenhower was the man that sponsored the Civil Rights Act of 1957. There's plenty of other dishonest claims here as well, such as trying to argue that Mr. Pardo is a conspiracy theorist for talking about Hunter Biden's laptop, even though that's 100% something that exists and is not a conspiracy theory at all. In fact, if anything, it's a conspiracy theory to argue that the story of Hunter Biden's laptop is just a conspiracy theory. I can keep going on and on and on about just how blatantly dishonest this entire smear compilation is, but that would be beating a dead horse. That said, it is worth noting that the individual who made this smear compilation was so utterly incompetent that they managed to reveal their identity in this very image despite their best efforts to try to hide their identity. For in two of the images, we were actually able to see a reply that had the identity of the individual who replied being censored. Nevertheless, I was quickly able to find the exact response tweet with little difficulty. What I found, though, was that this reply tweet was not directly to Mr. Pardo, but instead to another individual who had replied to Mr. Pardo. In other words, the individual responsible for this compilation hid their particular comment, which was a direct response to Mr. Pardo. Combine this with the reply to text, not including the username of the third individual in question, and it is very clear that the person who took this image was at Six Dice Skills, aka Rob, of the Honest Wargamer. This is the man who cancelled Mr. Blaine Pardo. With such dishonest interpretations of what Mr. Pardo had said, that I have to wonder if it does not fit the definition of libel, as after all, Rob from Honest Wargamer would have you believe that Teddy Roosevelt and Ulysses S. Grant were both somehow Confederate leaders. Combine this with the fact that Rob from the Honest Wargamer decided to hide his identity by creating a sock puppet account to upload this under the name Urban Mechs for Battletech, and it is clear that
that not only did he have malicious intent, but he also may have wanted to avoid any legal ramifications from this malicious intent. For the record, if Rob is watching this, you may be interested to know that I have archived all of this evidence, so even if you try to delete it, you will not be able to escape it. To Mr. Pardo, I would recommend two things. First of all, please contact your lawyer and see if anything can be done in the form of a civil suit. Secondly, I know you've expressed your intent to not talk about Battletech anymore. Unfortunately, I personally disagree with this course of action, as refusing to talk about Battletech anymore would give the activists, as well as Catalyst Game Labs, exactly what they want. Abandoning the IP and the fandom is the worst thing that could be done in this situation, and the activists responsible would merely follow you to whatever new projects you may come up with. For these people do not actually care about the Battletech universe. What they actually care about is making sure that people like you do not have a voice. At all. Instead, I would recommend staying as part of the Battletech fandom, even if not as an official publisher. Doing this will give the Battletech fandom a reputation of being not woke, and will give the IP itself a reputation of being against wokeness. And this is the thing that the far left do not want above all else. If you stay in defiance of them, they will lose. And Catalyst Game Labs will lose not just money, but reputation as well for it. And again, if you choose to leave instead, the activists will simply follow you to the ends of the earth. With this in mind, the only good option, in my own estimate, is to carry on. By all means, means vote with your wallet and do not give Catalyst Game Labs your money until they acquiesce on this matter. I believe I have said all that needs to be said here, so I'll end by saying that I will have archived links of the evidence that I have previously mentioned in the description below so you can check them out if you should so desire. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.